Welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about setting permissions with Deluge. We're going to start off with a scenario where we think this uh, use case works. We'll then do a demonstration of setting up the use case and then talk a little bit about the current limitations of the use case. So the scenario. Uh, for these videos we've been utilizing a demo company called Zilker Home Appliance Repair and in this scenario they're expanding. So basically typical infrastructure that we've had that we've shown in the other roles and permissions videos uh, is going to be changed because of this expansion. Zilker Home Appliance uh, Repair is offering their solution to um, appliance repair technicians across the country uh, and wanting to give them a platform where they can collect the information and uh, get the, the type of reports that Zilker has seen a lot of success with. Now, the process issue that we're going to run into, basically translating the current process to this new expansion one, we don't really know who the users are. So, you know, we're going to be um, sending this out to a lot of people in the industry, um, but we don't know who's going to show up. We don't know who's going to sign up. We don't know who's looking to utilize it. So being able to... Um, add users ourselves is going to be a little cumbersome. We're also dealing with multiple time zones, so any delay in getting somebody set up on the system uh, could cost us that user's adoption of the platform. And then we basically have minimal oversight, so we're, we're really selling this as uh, an additional process that other uh, appliance repair technicians can adopt. Um, but we don't really need to view everything that's going on, need, you know, all of that data. Um, so there's sort of like minimal oversight that's going to be applied. So the way that we're going to automate the user creation is we're going to create a form to collect the new user's information. We're then going to publish that form. Anyone who has the link can fill it out and submit it. And then once it's submitted, we actually have a Deluge script in the background. It's going to add that user and assign them the correct permission set based on the information that they've entered on the registration. All right, so now that we talked a little bit about the scenario and some of the process changes that we need to make between our two apps, uh, we're now going to hop into the demonstration and show you exactly how to set up a process like this to basically use Deluge uh, to add users. So we're gonna go into the Zilker Home Appliance Expansion app. We're then gonna edit this application. And that's gonna bring us into um, our structure so that we can build out uh, the process that we need for these registrations. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is create a form. I've actually already built one. We have this tech Ignition registration. Uh, so it consists of a name field, an email field, and then what the technician's specialty is. Uh, we have three different specialties listed in here. <clears throat> we have HVAC, kitchen appliances, and audio video. Now to match that, we actually need to set up uh, user permissions. So here in the user permissions set settings you can see we have audio video we have hvac and we have kitchen appliances so what these are going to do is allow us to apply these permission sets for each of the users that sign up so with these permissions set up the next piece that we need to do is we actually need to publish the form so to do this we will actually need to go out of the solution and go back to our operations. Once here, we will go to the publish under applications. We will then publish new, choose the appropriate application. Here we're choosing the expansion. We choose the component. So this is separated by forms, by reports, by page. The one that we are putting together is our technician registration. So we want to click on that under the forms and then hit publish. This is what we call our embed code. We have the permalink at top 
and then we have the embedded code below so that you can put this publish form uh, wherever you need. Let's copy our permalink. We're going to need that in a little bit. Let's close it. And then let's go back to our solution. And back to editing. All right, so now we have the solution published. The next thing that we need to do is set up our workflow. So let's go here into workflow. Let's go to our technician registration and we're gonna create a workflow for this form. So, running the workflow on any event in the form, we have the technician registration, we can run a record when it's created, edited, created, or edited, so we want just the created. We don't want anything to change when it's edited. We then have to choose the form event, or when to trigger the workflow, and in here, we're going to want successful form submission. So once the user or once the technician who is registering has fully submitted the form, we want to add them to the system. So let's click on that. We'll then name the workflow. Add user from registration submission. It's better to err on the side of more descriptive rather than least. Uh, you may have a ton of different workflows on a different form uh, and being able to tell exactly what it's doing uh, is going to help you before you actually hop into it. And then once inside, we add a new action, we're going to write new Deluge script, and we also want to comment at the top of this exactly what this script is going to do. So upon submission of registration form technician will be added as a user with permissions based on specialty choice. So this gives us a more descriptive idea of what this code is going to do. <clears throat> and now we can start writing our code. So the first thing that we need to put in play <clears throat> is an if statement. So if our specialty equals equals so HVAC, then this app dot permissions dot assign user in profile input email and HVAC. So both of these are going to match because the drop-down field that we have in the form, which is being chosen here for the if, uh, also matches our permission set name. So let's go to the next one. If specialty, uh, sorry, yep, yeah, nope, that's it, equals Uh, audio video we'll just copy this guy so we don't have to write all that again and we can make this oops, audio video as well and let's just do else if was considering that before and I think it's a little bit cleaner and then else if specialty equals equals kitchen um, what do I call it kitchen appliance
this up. Oh. Copy this again. Just save ourselves some time. Did forget semicolons, definitely remember those or else the system's gonna yell at you. And then hit save. So now we've created our workflow and we can close. All right, hit done. So because of my copy and pasting, we actually have to get that embed link again. So let's go back, let's go to our operations. Go to our publish, get our embed code. Go back to our solutions. Um, actually, we don't need to be in the app to do this part. Let's go back, go to our users. All right, let's create a new one of these. Wait, that. We now can put in a name, so let's say John Doe, John dot Doe, at fake email address dot com, and let's say our specialty is HVAC. We hit submit. We then go back to our users, refresh. We go to the second page. We should see John Doe, fake email address, and permission HVAC. <clears throat> so the limitations with utilizing Deluge for permissions uh, really have to do with the role. Uh, so the reason why our use case is so specific in this demo is because it needs to be a flat organization as we can't currently affect the role and add them to a hierarchy. So um, that's why, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's minimal oversight, there's, um, you know, the, the value of this use case is really um, getting uh, technicians added as quickly as possible. Uh, so it's not quite the best solution for a, company with a lot of like hierarchy rules and roles and um, data visibility security um, but in this use case definitely a great way um, to utilize deluge to affect the, the system and add new users and apply uh, permission sets to them um, to recap uh, we went through the scenario where we thought this use case was going to work um, we've then gone through a demonstration of the use case and we talked a little bit about the current limitations uh, at the end of that demonstration. Thank you for your time and I hope you learned something.